men hear this this is one thing you might not like to hear but i'll tell you if a woman genuinely loves you she will control you if a woman genuinely loves you she will control you one of the biggest foolishness that a lot of men do is that they ignore the advice of a woman that loves them when a woman loves you she will never advise you to fail when a woman loves you she will stand as a mother as a hand that covers her children you are her first child arrogant man come here before i slap you you are her first child listen to a woman that loves you they can never lead you wrong one of the biggest problem with men no woman can correct me no woman can tell me what to do that is why many men are in before their time there is something god has deposited in women that most men must learn how to take advantage of women are seers they can sense danger most especially when they love there's a level a woman loves you she can sense danger the day most men start listening to their women i'm talking about a virtuous woman their advice you will never fail in life uh, wonderful advice i i saw this message and it actually attracted me um pastor is right but i needed to correct something you just sometimes want to pass a message we're passing the message, but we're using the wrong language. I think the word control is a no for me. I'm going to prefer guide. A woman that loves you will guide you, will not control you. Because control is used for objects, something that is static, something that is not moving. That's what you control. Just the same way you can control your dog. You control your dog by chaining it. You control a goat by tying it to a place. But as a human being that is moving, you can you can guard the person by saying, let's go left, let's go right, let's go front, let's go backwards. That's guardians. And to also correct the notion, yes, women are seers. When a woman loves you, she wants to give you the best advice. But when a woman loves you, she sees a lot of things that are not existing. Yes. So it's not completely true. A lot of women love out of illusion. They see out of jealousy. If you actually want to follow women based on how they love you, you might never even grow as a man because she will always see danger. When a woman loves you, she doesn't even want you to go anywhere. She always looks for something to say about the business. Maybe what if this does not? Maybe what if you travel? And you know, they, they always see things because when we love men, we are clouded. Our judgment, we are emotional with thinking. Men are more logical. So as a man, you must be ready to take risk. If you are not stubborn, you cannot succeed. You cannot say because a woman loves you, what she tell you, you will do her advice. He also said something about when a woman loves you a woman would cover you you're her first child she's like a mother how many children actually how many male children actually listen to their mothers in fact a lot of people didn't listen to their mother when their mother was being controlling we started listening to our mothers when they started guiding us when our mothers were using cane and shouting at us and trying to control us we still did what we wanted to do even as children we started regarding our parents when they started guarding us, talking to us. We share our idea. Mommy, I have 20 million. Your mother will tell you, okay, why not buy land here? This place is lucrative. This place is this. Not when your mother will be controlling you. So I don't think the word control is it. And the truth about it is, men are logical. Just marry a man that has sense. If you marry a man that has sense, you won't need to be a mother to anybody. You will just be a wife. Because being a mother to a man is a whole lot of job. And that's where a lot of women get exhausted. When you're trying to play a mother role and you're trying to play a wife role, you're not his mother. What his mother cannot do, you cannot do it. You're a wife. The biggest problem we have is that you want to play a mother to a full-grown man. His mother did not even play that role when he was a child. And you want to play to a full-grown man. Men love freedom. Yes, listen to your wife, but pick what she has to say. It's not everything a woman says that you will do. Not every virtuous woman or any woman that loves you advice works. It's a lie. So women are advising you. You don't even know what your business is about. 
Some women will always see danger anytime their husband wants to travel because they don't want their men to travel. There are some men that just like, women that just like their men around. Anytime you tell them you want to go for a business trip, they will see one thing, they must see one danger. So to me, I don't completely agree. I would just say to women, marry a man that has sense. Marry a man that you don't have to be controlling because if I meet you, you're already doing well for yourself. I met you at a particular pace. The only thing I need to do is to contribute, not to come and be controlling you or to come and be advising you. I don't want to babysit a man. And that is the biggest problem in marriage. When you marry a man and you want to come and start babysitting him, that's where you start to have problem. That's where you start to have BP. You want to follow a man everywhere he's going to. You want to know what he's doing. Have a life of your own. Don't babysit a man. He's a man. He's not a boy. The only person I believe you can be controlling is a small boy. Not a full-grown man. A full-grown man can ask for his wife's advice. Can ask for his woman's advice. You contribute. It doesn't mean that, okay. Listen, no, that's not true. Love doesn't make women shield women. Love makes a lot of women biased. Emotions. A woman will, if you allow women hmm, and follow them with love, you will never be rich. You will never make money. If you are a man that do love, 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 you won't even be going out. Because a woman will prefer you to stay in the house and be doing love. That's the truth. You see, if you're not a man, you'll be saying, your, because your woman saw, she says, see her. She advised, no, 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 no. You don't even need a woman's advice to be able to take a step. You only need a woman's contribution. She can add. That's what she's supposed to come and do because you are supposed to be moving before a woman comes into your life. If she's coming, she's just adding her two cents. You already have the idea. You already know what you want to do with yourself. You can just share it with your partner. And she said, okay, baby, add this, add this, add this, subtract this. I don't really believe in women controlling men. No. If a woman has to control you, then you're not a man. You're a boy. Yes, we have strong instincts. We love our men, we want to shield our men. But the truth is, when we actually call men babies, it doesn't mean that they are babies. It doesn't mean that we want to play mother role. Because it's this mother role that used to cause trouble. You will forget to be a wife and start to become a mother. You start to nag. You start to treat a, a full grown man like a child. A man that was living his life. You met him. You suddenly want to come and start babysitting him. That's where the problem comes. And men don't like it. Men don't like it. They will run from you. They will start to lie to you. Because they know that anything they bring to your table, you will find complaint, you will nag. And that was how we stopped talking to our parents. A lot of us didn't talk to our parents because our parents will always look for faults in anything we say. We started talking to our peers. And that's how some of us got spoiled. Because we know that anything we share with our mama, mama, mama mom, she must find fault. She must nag. She must quarrel. That was how we stopped talking. So to me, I just believe in contribution. Don't control anybody. If you want to control a man, an African man, as a woman, you're going to have hypertension. You will die young. Drop your two cents and allow a man be a man. If there's any contribution and you are very good in seeing, you see or you see yourself, grow yourself. All those contributions you want to be contributing, contribute to yourself. Let the man be seen that you are growing. In fact, a man will even grow better when he sees that your advice is working for you than when you are just sitting down and trying to give a man advice. Let him see you do it. That's what I do to a lot of men. I know some couple of men that I always talk about investing into real estate, house, and all that. They don't used to listen to me. What I used to do is I would bring the person to my house. When the person comes to me, when a man comes to my house, the first thing they'd be like, now you build this house. I would say yes. You build this house, yes. Now, from what they have seen, if I talk, they follow because they've seen me do it. You can't be a woman that will be advising and be telling me to do something that you cannot do. No. If you are that strong and you are that powerful and you are a seer, see yourself. Build yourself. Let your man see what you have done. Then that is when your advice becomes valid. You cannot be advising me when you have not done anything for yourself. It's easier said than done. So I would say... I say, woman, don't control anybody. Just guide. Control yourself. Control your anger. Control your jealousy. Control your emotion. Build yourself. Leave men alone. All these man, 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 man. These people just subject you into emotional torture. You will not leave yourself and be pursuing a full-grown man. I bet me everybody rest. <laughs>